Motivation. Motivation. The general desire or willingness of someone to do something. The general desire or willingness of someone to do something. Motivation. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. Call Halal La Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai, which is Hebrew, interpret Bless Yahawa, Bless Yahawa Shai. All praises to the Father Yahawa in the name of the Son Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this lesson is going to be entitled Motivation or somewhere around those lines, Motivation. Uh, motivate, motivation is key. It's one of, one of the ingredients, you know, to have when it comes to dealing with faith. And um, being motivated is what the Lord, you know, he, he motivates his elect. And how do he motivates us? By his word. You know, the word of the Lord uh, keeps brothers fueled, uh, fueled, you know, fueled up, you know, like gas, how you gas a car. The Most High gases our bodies, he gases our spirits, you know, to keep pushing on because um, he gave us promises, you know, he promised salvation, he promised the kingdom here on the earth. You know, the men of the Lord are not looking for uh, money from Esau, not looking to be loved by the world, you know, not looking to be liked, not looking for views and to be this sort of celebrity in this world, you know, because of the Lord's motivation that he gives us through salvation and through his prophecies, okay? You know, prophecies keep you motivated. When the Lord makes a prophecy come to pass, that should motivate you, you know? And um, this is uh, 2 Peter 1, and I start at uh, 2. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of Yahweh and of Yahweh Shai, our Lord, according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto, the, unto life, and godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue whereby are given unto us exceedingly great and precious promises all right so it said uh, here it is it says what uh given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue whereby are given unto us exceedingly great and precious promises you know the promises that the lord you know told us is uh is uh you know is out of this world you just just receiving new bodies man just having uh, uh your body being perfect with the spirit you know no longer the flesh is worn with the spirit you know to a to keep the laws in your inward parts to never go off not even make a mistake to be perfect you know that's a god all right because the heavenly father is perfect it says that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust so what motivates the elect is escaping the corruption of the world you know as paul said we know the we know the we know the terror of the lord so we persuade men you know, and uh, hey, just by knowing the terror of the Lord, you're motivated. You know, you want to escape the corruption of man, the corruption of man, you know, going according to his own way, you know, leaning upon his own understanding. That's corruption. That's going to lead to you being destroyed, you know, lead to you going through that, uh, going down the road of troubles. You know, at the end of the day, the elect is seeking peace. You know, peace. So it says, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. You know, it says, uh, verse five, and besides this, giving all diligence, 
add to your faith virtue and the and to virtue godliness and to knowledge temperance and to temperance patience and patience godliness so you have to be motivated in order to have patience and we know what patience mean patience mean to be patience actually means to suffer man you know when you're waiting for something you're suffering man you know because we're suffering the the evilness of this world because we won't condone in it you know so evilness is uh, uh evilness attacks you demons attack you because you won't give in into being wicked you know actually standing up against it you know brings trouble upon you you know so what keeps brothers motivated Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai man the promises the covenant you know the adoption all of these things keeps the hopeful elect motivated man because it's, it's about motivation you know you can't get too um you can't lose that motivation because the word of the Lord should be in stored you know in the back of your mind all right it says, um, and to knowledge, temperance, and temperance, patience, and patience, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. For if these things be in you and abound, they make you, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord, Yahweh Shah and Mashiach. It says, but he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins all right so <clears throat> if you lack these things you know it's because hey you're not motivated in the, in the lord anymore you know you're not motivated you lost the lack of faith you lost the lack of fear in Yahweh Bashim Shai, which is knowing the terror of the Lord, you know, you 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 lack uh, uh, the the source of concent being uh, you know concentration, you know, you lost the lack of patience, temperance. All right, it says, but he that lacketh these things is blind, and cannot see afar off, and that's one thing the Lord gave us also, is the gift to see. You know, not, 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 every, not every eye can see what's in front of them. You know, you could be, you know, Jake two thirds, they could be looking right at it, but they still can't see it, you know? But the elect, we can see. We got eyes to see, man, ears to hear. Meaning what? We have understanding, you know, of our times and the times that we're living in, man. We have understanding, you know, hey, Man, somebody could be right in front of you and you can't see him. That's that's real, man. But the elect can see. They can see afar off too. Because that's prophecy. We can tell we understand that we're going into where we're, we're in the agenda right now of Esau's new world order. Which is their new world order consists of us being, you know, chipped, microchip with the mark of the beast. We can see that through their device of the mark of the beast, they want to bring forth a new world. You know, you got China, which I hope to throw up a video later, uh, dealing with China and how everything is surveillance, you know. How the cameras, what they call over here in America, Big Brother, is actually, you know, um, it's policing them. The cameras are policing them, you know, because they can get a fine for littering they can get a fine for acting up in the public by just being seen on camera man <laughs> that's crazy but this is the way Esau wanted here you know that's why the scriptures tell us in revelations 12 and 12 uh he cometh the devil all right he cometh down having great wrath because he know that he had but a short time you know because he's gonna have to rush this thing in you know before Yahweh Shah return and basically when he goes to uh eating which is chipping you know, when he goes to fulfill his belly, the Most High shall cast upon him, you know, his wrath right in the midst of he's eating, man. When he's when he's chipping away. All right. When he's almost seeming, seemingly 
uh, mm. about to accomplish his goal. That's when Yahweh Shai returns, man. And that's what keeps us motivated because we know these scriptures. We know the breakdowns, you know, we know the prophecies. Prophecies are important, you know. That's what keeps brothers motivated, all right. Uh, verse 10, wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fail, all right. So that's the key right there. Wherefore, rather in brethren, give diligence. If you're giving diligence, that's because you're motivated, you know. And it says, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. You know, the scriptures say, many are called, but few are chosen. Now, we don't know if we the, we're the actual chosen, but we believe we are. And if we give diligence to this work, then we're what? Making that calling that election sure you know without a doubt because when when the prophecies are fulfilled martial law famine of the word famine of food and water you know when we got to live out here and survive only off our faith then guess what the lord will be right there we, we're sure with the lord that hey i finished the work you know some scriptures say some shall be cast into prison be faithful unto death you know, uh, what's that? Second Nedra 16. He said, then you will know who am I chosen. You know, when they come down having great wrath. You know, man, these devils want to lock brothers up for just teaching this Bible, man. That, that's when you know this Bible is serious. This when you know we're teaching the truth. Because these Edomites not just lock brothers up. They want to kill brothers, man. Because we out there teaching the truth. You know, we're not with the society, man. The scriptures tell you in Wisdom of Solomon we were made to reprove his thoughts. You know, he's of another fashion. He's a counterfeit, man. You know? And they can't stand it. They're getting burnt up by just words, man. This is why they passing laws, you know, on uh words. Come on, man. You're changing up your your code, your, your policy codes and law codes with with different words, you know? Come on, man. And and they and they're using the excuse of homosexuality, man. Like like it's all because of the Israelites, man. Teaching this truth. They don't like it, man. You know, so that tells you something, man. You know, if, if, we, if we're, we're not speaking the truth, if we're not speaking the truth, then why is they going through all this hell? You know, just to uh, to shut us up, man. Why, why are they changing up YouTube policies? I mean, YouTube rules. Yeah, you know, changing up YouTube rules just to shut the prophets up. Mm -hmm. Taking down videos, mm -hmm. taking down channels, like, 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 what? Who are you saving? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when it's so much filth out here, it's so much filth out here. You got men allowed to kiss men in public, man. You know, you got women kissing other women. You got YouTubers that's teaching children to be homo, and they got the nerve to take down a video. Which is reading, just reading the scriptures, breaking down words, breaking down the scriptures. Ain't nobody committing an act of violence, you know? And they, and they so, you know, eager to take down that video. Because why? It has truth, man. This is why the elect is motivated, man. So I hope you guys were edified. You know, this topic is based on motivation, man. And we got to have it. got to pray for it. All right. Um, let's see here. Uh, yep. So the word motivation, which I just Google search real quick. It says the reason. Oh, here's another one. It's now the reason or reasons one has for acting or behaving in a particular way. That's right. You know, the elect carry themselves in a particular way. They carry themselves, all right, in a certain way. All right, the men of the Lord. It says, the reason or reasons one has for acting or behaving in a particular way. Because people wonder why we out there on the street and we're projecting our voices. They say we're screaming, but we're not. We're just projecting our voices with men. You know, men have a, a voice box where they can actually project to make louder without actually yelling. That's what makes us masculine. 
You know, this is why a child, a, 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 a boy, okay, when he gets around to the age 12, 13, 14, you say what? His voice crack. You know, you be like, oh, you getting your man voice in, you getting your manhood in. Men have that 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 ability. All right. So, you know, when the men out there, the prophets out there teaching the word, people wonder why are they acting like that? Why are they saying what they're saying? You know, why all of them got that certain persona about them? You know, every time I come across a Hebrew Israelite camp, they always got that certain certain persona. Why why he read so loud? Why he got to be so warrior like? You know, that's what run through these people's minds. Well, it says for motivation, the reason or reasons one has for acting or behaving in a particular way. Okay? It says a general desire or willingness of someone to do something. You know? So the Lord is uh gassing up our tanks, which is our spirits each and every day. This is why David in his prayer he said, Create in me a clean heart. And renew a right spirit within me every day. That's important, man. Creating me a clean heart. Why you need a clean mind? Because you need to be able to function. You need to be on the right path. You need to think straight. You don't need cloudy judgment. You don't need to have uh, making decisions in wickedness. You want to make decisions in righteousness. You want your mind to be calm. You know? You want your mind to be calm. You want your mind so you can meditate. You know, uh, creating me a clean heart and renew a right spirit. Why our spirits have to be renewed day by day? Because your spirit is being tainted every day. When you watching, it, it, hey, when you're when you're driving and you seeing women with their cleavage out and their curves, you know, dressed like a harlot, that is tainting your spirit, man. You know, and she and and you know that she got a man or she got a few men. You know, when you see, when your, when your spirit is vexed every, you know, when you see homosexuality, you know, right before your eyes being presented before you and your children, you could be at a restaurant and you got two, two men kissing right in front of you and your children. You could be at the restaurant with your children trying to get a bite to eat, go out, you know, get a little bite out, take your kids out. And then right next to you, you got two homosexuals kissing, man. You know, that vexes your spirit. You know, that's why it's important to teach your children at home what's wrong and right. You know, what's right and wrong. You know, putting your how about your how shots first. So that when your children see these things in the world, they're not surprised. Don't let the school system teach your children, man. You know, that's one thing uh, Wisdom of Solomon talked about. You know, the second chapter about their education. You know, because their education is filthy, man. You know, it's uh, it's uh, doctrinated to where it's leading you down a path of wickedness. And that's what Esau wants. You know, his goal is to uh, to uh, his goal is to attack the children, you know, because they say what the children are the future, you know. And that's why you have this GMO degenerate generation today. You know, look at the hip hop. Look at these kids and the, and the, and the stuff, the foul things that they getting away with. You know, when you knew when you was in high school, ain't no way in hell that shit was going down like that. You know, and now they're being now this generation is getting they, their actions are being justified. You know, in the name of new era. You know, you know the newer generation as this this the newest the new thing in the earth. It ain't nothing new in the earth, man. You know, it shit is sickening, man. But the most high, he going to judge this place, man. He going to destroy the wicked. So that's what keeps the elect motivated. And that's why you got to be, you got to pray. You know, just kind of like a, you know, another extension from the lesson yesterday about faith. Faith, fear, and fasting, man. You know, so it says a general desire or willingness of someone to do something. So the desire to teach this word. It's because your spirit is motivated by your how Bashim Yahweh Shai. Another way why how brothers stay motivated is because brothers are watching each and each brother's shows. You know, whoever you subscribe to, that's a brother. And you know he's a, a man of the Lord teaching the scriptures. You're watching those videos to be what? Inspired, to be motivated. Watching the apostles. You know, you can't not be motivated, you know, 
when you're watching the apostles because they got the gems, you know? And when you're watching, they may say certain things to where it motivates you in that particular way. And what you do, you charge up. You know, the apostles are like the, uh, with the brother Kalab in the camp, he always say, if you unplug from GMS, you're finished. <laughs> You know, because they like they like the uh, the, the socket with, with all the juice. And if you unplug, that means, you know, hey, you ain't getting no more juice. <laughs> and that's true. I'm laughing because the brother always say it a lot, but it's true, man. You know, you unplug, you stop watching videos. That's your first step of, uh, you know, losing faith. You know, uh, I know that topic already. I ain't watching that. Uh, this brother, I did that topic before. I ain't watching that. Hey, I'm telling you. Right now, we're in a time we, we hey, Elder Apostle uh, Rumlop, man, he did a lesson, which I had to watch after his live stream was over, couldn't catch it live, and he did a lesson um, based on the title of, uh, uh, think about this, something like that, you know, no, ask yourself this, you know, ask yourself these questions, because we're in a time when you gotta, you, right now, you have to, you have to really dig deep within yourself and know who you are. If you don't know who you are right now, you done for, man. Because we're coming into some hard times. You got to know who you is. You got to know what you into. You got to know why you in this truth. You got to count the costs, man. You know, so being motivated in this truth is a plus. It's one of the ingredients and one of the things you want the Lord to do every day. Now, we all don't got the fiery spirit, you know, 24 7 but it's possible a brother be able to be able to load up a video do his do his duty then that's good man you know every brother got a different measure of faith some brothers got more some brothers got less you know but it's all about the willing spirit the willing you know the willing spirit within you so dig deep so i hope this lesson was edifying I want to give all praises to you how shy Bahashem Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. And also I want to say, you know, we do these shows first for our sake, you know, for us first, and then for the hopeful elect. You know, so everything that we say in these videos, it applies to us first. And then, you know, for the rest of the elect. You know, so because the Lord said, be not just a hearer of the word, but be a doer of the word. So you gotta be a doer of these words. So with that, shallow one.